In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the hardware parts for the spot welder. Pretty shit fit actually. than I thought. Now let me get some WD-40. I have no idea if that will help. Like I said, I've never done copper before. Let me see. This is going to be uh, one of the power bars. I don't know what you call those things. I should probably look it up actually. I'm going to cut them at 12 inches uh, each. And the idea is that... Uh, I hope that's big enough. I don't know. Maybe not. So we want 12 inches. Put a little label. Don't stick very well. Never mind. It's one of two. I'm going to face the ends of the rods here and uh, insert a thread screw. Sorry, a screw thread. <laughs> um, and then that's where our tips are going to be. I'm going to bend these about 90 degrees, well, hopefully 90 degrees, and then uh, we're going to screw the tips in there, which we've got to make of those as well. So, well, first of all, let's change the tool post.
do the center drill. Ten thirty two um, thread. Um, I don't have ten thirty two. Let me see. Oh, maybe I can do ten twenty. Oh, ten thirty two. No, I'm gonna have to do ten twenty four um, because I don't have a suitable drill. So I've got this one, which is a I can't remember what size it is, but it's about three point six millimeters. So see how that works. Gonna try and pop that in there. Which is a bit difficult. I'm gonna make the tips. This is what a tip looks like. Well, that's the top of the tip. The uh, back side of the tip is gonna have a thread on it which I haven't made yet. So I've brought this down to size, it should have been 164, I've got it on 165, so it's good enough for me. Seems to be okay so far. Looks all right. Unfortunately, so, where's the other rod? Is it this one? Here we go. That might be a bit long as well, so I might have to cut that back. Yeah, it's very long, so I'm gonna have to cut that back. I decided to put some flats on this so that it'll be easier to tighten up because it's kind of difficult just to use your fingers. There's the flat. It's good enough. Let's see if it fits. I've measured out two inches from the tip to where I'm going to try and bend this thing. I've got this uh, piece of aluminum pipe which the copper will actually fit into, like so, just about. 
So that's going to protect this end, and I'm going to attempt to bend this end. So here goes. Could be a disaster coming. This is going a bit too easy. So ideally, I want just over 90 degrees. See. Yes, yeah, just over. All right. See so if I can pull it out. Oh, jeez. Success. <laughs> All right. Next one. Success. So I'm starting to work on the inside of the spot welder. So this is a, a 3D printed, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like a housing I guess. Um, it actually should be on the bottom but for now it's on the top. So um, this will allow me to, this will want to be fixed against some sort of plate, back plate maybe. I don't know what I'm going to make it out of yet. It might be wood or it might be aluminum. Not sure. Um, I'm going to have another one, but slightly different design for the bottom piece. Um, but that one will allow it to swivel. It will have some sort of motion to it that will allow me allow the jaws to open and close. This is going to be the top um, bracket, holding bracket. It's going to take a while to do it. I'm still printing the top bracket, or what I'm going to call the bracket, but it's deformed like so. Can you see that? Where it's pulled up from the bottom. Anyway, I'm going to let that go and uh, see if we can still do it afterwards. I mean, as it happens, that piece at the end isn't a critical piece at all. Um, so we'll see. I don't want to stop it because it's been going for about two hours at least already. I've got two of the three parts printed. I'm going to uh, I'm going to estimate where I want to cut this cable. Somewhere around here. And I'm going to cut it. <laughs> so these are actually uh, sheet metal cutters. They're not supposed to be used for cutting <laughs> kind of thick copper. Never mind. Okay. I don't know if this is going to, hmm. not sure about that, let me find something to mount that onto, god that is getting really quite stiff.
Okay, let's go and drill that one, keep that out. That's my four holes. Gosh, I've got to clean up this place. good. So I bolted this bottom one in. I'm going to do the top one next. Um, but I'm going to run out of tape in a second. So <laughs> I'll show you what happens after I've uh, got this bit finished. So this is what we've got so far. So the spring at the top is a return spring. So when you push this down, it will lift it back up again. Uh, no, actually I probably didn't need it because the uh, copper wire there is so strong it's pulling it up anyway. Um, still to do is, well I need to put a handle on there. So I'm hoping that the cable is going to go down here somewhere, I'm not sure. Down the back, in between these parts, down to the bearing that's going to sit here and then it will come back up and wrap around this piece. Coming up in the next Spot Welder video, making the casing. To make sure you don't miss the next video in this series, click on the subscribe button.